Hello everyone, this is Nathan, and today I want to talk about the cards that White needs in Magic's Commander format. When it comes to white decks in a multiplayer game like Commander, this color is severely lacking when compared to other colors. Specifically, white is the worst when it comes to card draw, and is also lacking with regards to mana acceleration. While white typically does well in 1v1 60 card formats, in Commander drawing cards and ramping is much more important. To remedy this problem, I'm going to present 8 white cards that can help fix the issue. The first 3 are ramp cards which need reprinted, while the other 5 are custom cards which I've designed to generate card advantage, but stick to white slice of the color pie. So let's start with the 3 reprints. First off, we have Smothering Tithe, a 4 mana enchantment that lets you create a treasure token every time an opponent draws a card, unless that player pays 2 mana. This amazing mana generator allows white to ramp better than most other cards can, and does so in a unique, flavorful way. Unfortunately, Smothering Tithe only was printed in Ravnica Allegiance, and has quickly become a staple in EDH. At roughly $30, we need a reprint to help lower that high cost, especially since this fits into so many white decks. Next up is an older card, Tithe, a 1 mana instant which lets you find a planes in your library and put it into your hand. If an opponent controls more lands than you, you can search up an additional planes. While not mana acceleration, this spell will almost always let you 2 for 1 by putting 2 cards into hand at the cost of 1. Printed in 1997 with Visions, the only other copy was printed with the 1998 World Champ deck, and isn't legal, so to get a real copy would cost you around $50. This spell isn't breaking any formats, and would be great in white EDH decks if it weren't so hard to find. For the last of the reprints, I've chosen Land Tax, a one man enchantment with, at the beginning of your upkeep, if an opponent controls more lands than you, search your library for up to three basic land cards and put them into your hand. This efficient enchantment lets you almost always hit your land drops, while simultaneously thinning the deck if you are flooding. Despite several reprints, this card has maintained a $20 to $30 price tag. An auto include in so many decks, it still needs more reprints, ideally not at Mythic Rare, and dropped back down to Rare, which would increase supply in a meaningful way. Now we can move on to my 5 custom cards. Leading the way is Humble Coalition, a 5 mana sorcery which has you draw a card for each creature you control with power 2 or less, and gives creatures you control lifelink until the end of the turn. This is built around two other cards, Shamanic Revelations and Mentor of the Meek. Shamanic Revelations similarly draws cards based on creatures and also has life gain built in, but Humble Coalition kind of flips that around by drawing like how Mentor of the Meek draws, which is conditioned on creatures having power to or less. I think Mentor of the Meek is a thematic way to draw cards in white, but isn't something that has been used since its printing. I hope to see more cards like Humble Coalition and Mentor of the Meek that would explore that design space. At the number 4 slot is Suspension of Hostilities, a 4 mana sorcery which lets each opponent either draw a card or gain 2 life. For each opponent that chose to draw, you get to draw a card. For each opponent that chose to gain life, you gain 2 life. For this I looked at Truce, which lets all players draw or gain life in a similar way, and Ambition's Cost, which lets you draw 3 cards at the cost of 3 life. In a 4 person multiplayer game, Suspension of Hostilities will almost always be a 4 mana draw 3, since most opponents will choose card draw over life gain, unless you are already ahead. While I think Truce is pretty bad, as you're spending a card to give everyone the same card advantage, Suspension of Hostilities has a similar effect but puts you ahead of each opponent in most cases. Next at number 3 is Temple Oracle a 3 mana 1-3 creature which can be tapped and sacrificed for 2 mana. This has you choose an opponent. If they have more cards in hand than you, draw cards equal to the difference. This is essentially the same ability as Sandstone Oracle's Enter the Battlefield trigger, an effect which always felt like it would fit in White's wheelhouse. Yet, White is apparently only playable if you run a bunch of colorless cards, which any deck can use. That said, I did not want Temple Oracle to be exactly the same, so its ability is more akin to how Magus creatures operate. These are creatures with strong tap abilities, and oftentimes must be sacrificed as part of the cost. Moving on, we have Shared Serenity, a 2 mana enchantment which lets you draw a card whenever a player gains life if you pay 2 mana. 
For one and a white, it can also tap to have target opponent gain three life. Shared Serenity takes its card draw from Dawn of Hope, but broadens it to any player. By tapping and paying four mana, Shared Serenity is repeatable card draw, with the only downside being that an opponent gains three life, a cost which can be seen on the enchantment Arm Assist. However, Shared Serenity allows for card draw without having to spend so much mana, and rewards decks with life gain. Something white is good at, but is rarely desired in a format that has you start with 40 life. Speaking of life gain, at the number one slot is Font of Peace, a one mana enchantment which has, whenever you gain life, put that many essence counters on Font of Peace. Then, by paying two mana and removing four essence counters, you draw a card, limited to once each turn. This is white's take on Font of Agonies, which is worded in a similar way but instead destroys creatures and involves paying life. While probably the best of my hypothetical cards, Font of Peace is not broken. Even an Oloro deck, which has one of the best incidental life gain effects, still has to jump through several hoops to get the single card draw. Gaining life and drawing cards will rarely win you the game, but let me know if you disagree. What do you think of this list? Would these cards be too good for white in EDH, or do they still not go far enough? Should Hole Breacher have been printed as white instead of blue? Well, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Good night and good luck.